summoned us, Lord Malak. Bastila has betrayed me. I must select a new successor to be my apprentice. One who will one day take the mantle of Sith Lord away from me. Of all the dark Jedi that have sworn allegiance to me, you three are the strongest. One of you will have the honor of becoming my new apprentice. If you prove yourself Worthy. Tell me what I must do, Master. Anything. Revan is on the Starforge, looking to reclaim the title of Dark Lord of the Sith. Wait here for my old master. Whichever one of you deals the killing blow to Revan will become my new apprentice. We will not fail you, Master. Triumph, but even if you fail, it will give me the time I need to complete my preparations of the station's defenses. And then we shall see if Revan can stand against the full fury of the Star Forge. <laughs>
This looks like the end of our partnership. The battle we fight, you Revan, are the single... I don't think I'm ready to give up this life of mine. I'm your man.
betray the Master, and an even bigger fool to return to the Starforge. The only fools are those who still follow Malak. Open your eyes and see the true Lord of the Sith. Revan has returned. Revan is nothing. Malak earned the title of Dark Lord by defeating his old master. And now I will become Malak's new apprentice by doing the same. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
The Star Forge is under assault from the entire Republic fleet. If I don't use my battle meditation to turn the tide, Admiral Dodonna's capital ships will destroy the Star Forge. I have to stay here in the command center so that I can best use my battle meditation against our enemy. If I don't, the Star Forge will be lost. You must go to face Malak without me. Find him, kill him, and reclaim the title of Dark Lord of the Sith. turning against us. The entire Sith fleet reacts instantly to our every strategy. Every fighter and capital ship attack in perfect unison. I've never seen such military precision. I have, but never from the Sith. It's almost as if... No. Bastila is using her battle meditation against us. What? Impossible. She's on our side. Not anymore, Admiral. I sent something different about Bastila during her transmission, but I thought I was only feeling the evil presence of the Starforge itself. I see now I was wrong. 
Bastila has turned to the dark side, Admiral. You have to give the order to retreat. I can't do that. This might be our only chance to destroy the Starforge. We can't withdraw. We can't. Then you will lose. Aside from the moment I seized the mantle of Dark Lord from your feeble grasp. You made a mistake coming here, Revan. The Starforge fuels my command of the Dark Side. You are no match for me here, and this time you will not escape. You have reclaimed your identity, Revan, but you have lost the power you once wielded. You are not the Dark Lord anymore. You are nothing. You are an insignificant speck beneath my notice. I have surpassed you in every way and accomplished what you never could. I have unleashed the full potential of this Rakatan factory. You had no idea of the power within this place. Its very walls are alive with dark side energies. And now, my old master. I will let the Starforge itself destroy you.
Well done, Revan. I was certain the defenses of the Starforge would destroy you. But I see there is more of your old self in you than I expected. You are stronger than I thought. Stronger than you ever were during your reign as the Dark Lord. I did not think that was possible. Once you were stronger than me, Revan. But as your apprentice, I surpassed you. The Master must always be stronger than the Apprentice. That was why I betrayed you. No, I was prepared to face you, Revan. But fate presented me with a better option. I saw my opportunity and seized it. The trap set by the Jedi only hastened my decision. If they had not attacked, I would have challenged you for mastery of the Sith soon enough. You are eager for blood, Revan, as am I. Very well. You shall have your wish. Once again, we shall face each other in single combat, and the victor will decide the fate of the galaxy. <laughs>
before Lee would be the one to uncover the true power of the Star Forge, you might have become truly invincible. But you were a fool. All you... The Star Forge is more than just a space station. In some ways, it is like a living creature. It hungers, and it can feed on the dark side that is within all of us. Look around you, Revan. See the bodies? You should recognize them from the Academy. These are Jedi who fell when I attacked Dantooine. For all intents and purposes, dead. Except for one difference. I have not let them become one with the Force. Instead, I have brought them here. The Star Forge corrupts what remains of their power and transfers the Dark Taint to me. You cannot beat me, Revan. Not here on the Star Forge. Not when I can draw upon the power of all these Jedi. And once you are beaten, I will do the same to you. You will be trapped in a terrible existence between life and death. Your power feeding me as I conquer the galaxy. Thank <laughs> you. 
Well done, Revan. I was certain the defenses you are. You what?
Another capital ship. It's hopeless. All Republic forces pull back. Pull back! It is too late to retreat, Admiral. The Sith Armada has cut us off. There is no escape for us now. Then the Republic is doomed. throne. The Jedi Order is in tatters. It is only a matter of time until your Sith minions wipe them from the face of the galaxy. The Republic fleet is decimated. The core worlds are defenseless against us. 